Hello from Singapore. <laughs> we've had a bit. Well, we've had a really long lion because we slept fucking awfully. Basically, we're staying in like space pods, but they're so fucking noisy. Shit. They're pretty shit. Anyway, right now it's 20 to 1 and we've only just come outside. So we haven't eaten, we haven't done anything yet. But we're gonna do a cheap versus expensive, like, I don't know, just cheap day. Not doing expensive. <laughs> you know, a cheap day in Singapore. So we just got a quick snack at 7 Eleven. Ollie, what'd you get? Chunky egg and chicken ham wrap. Yum, and a mock. I got a chicken teriyaki um, sushi thing and just some water. And all together it was, I think it was nine. Um, Dollars, but I'll check on my app how much that was in pounds and how much exactly it was. I just can't remember right now, and we don't have 4G, so we can't check anything right now. So we're just hoping we're gonna get to Chinatown, but we need to figure out we're at the what is this called? Monorail. We're at the monorail, and we need to figure out how to get there. It's quite easy. Yeah, I imagine it will be. We just get on that one and get off in three <laughs> stops. Oh, only three. It's pretty good. The Michelin star meal. So it's chicken and rice. It's soy sauce. We're gonna share this because Ollie's not that hungry. So bargain, how much is it? Five pound. Eight dollars forty, which is about five pound twenty. Perfect. We'll let you know what it is. Chinatown. Um, Have a look in some shops. Yeah, go in some local shops. And then we're going to go, there's an underground mall, Kerry says. Yeah. We're going to go try find that. I think we're going to just take the trams today because they're quite cheap, I think. And our grab yesterday was, what was it, 14 quid? 
Something get like from that. the bus stop to our place and it was like 20 minutes. I think that's gonna bankrupt us if we do that anymore. So walking around Chinatown. Well, we're not there yet. We're walking to Chinatown. Then to the mall and then to some parks. A few other things, yeah. There's quite a lot of free things to do in Singapore. We're gonna try to do most of them today. And then we can show you. Pointed out to us by a tourist who just stopped us as we were walking past. Oh, that was nice of And this is a light plant shop. Oh, very light plant shops. <laughs> There's an art gallery in here, Singapore City Gallery. We weren't trying to be here. We were looking for something which ended up being a food court which wasn't great so we're going to use the city link mall and we're going to get the monorail there so it's 15 minutes or so. so the city link was just a link under the ground with different shops there wasn't too many we didn't really go in it but we didn't go in any um, and now we've just come up and we're going to head to marina square which is literally just across the walkway um, there, I think. Yeah, we think that's a shopping mall, so we're gonna have a look around, get some water. <laughs> Desperately. This is quite cool. It's a water cycle. This is definitely more of a shopping centre than the corridor underground we thought was a shopping centre. Oh, fake button. I'm slightly scared to look in any of these shops, considering the price of everything else here. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just walk around and not actually look at anything. That'll be a cheap visit. I found a cotton candy vending machine. Ollie's just looking. How much is it? Uh, some of them are like two pounds. Not bad actually, should we get uh, Yeah, fuck it, go on. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that's it. <laughs> Don't tell me that's it. <laughs> oh, no. Did it just take some off? No, no, no. It's like sculpting it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Come on, then get oh, it. Grab. I think you just, yeah, just grab it. The thing is still... Did you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell what flavour it is. It's just sugar. Uh-uh. I like it. Sugar. I think they have flavour though. Variety, soft and sweet. <laughs> so sugar. You've been on the search for cheap water. <laughs> and this one was like 120. <laughs> oh, he's <drenched>. Pissing water. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've just been walking towards. I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, but I think it's called like Mer Merleon, Merleon Park, which is just over here. And then we'll also get a view of. I think this is Marina Bay. Yeah, it must be because that's Marina Bay Hotel, but I'll show you that when I have a better view. So that's the longest infinity pool in the world. 
700 quid a night though. Bargain. And we're gonna walk across. So we're gonna walk around this bit to Marina Bay Sands and we're gonna see the Whirlpool. And maybe go in some fancy shops. Yeah, probably not though. Actually no, we will. <laughs> this this uh this whirlpool collapse, collapses, collects the rainwater and then funnels it through into an indoor pool. Mm. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Wow, yeah. I'm fucking exhausted today. That's what I'm doing yet. No sleep. It's quite cool to come and look here, but Terry just said there's literally two shops here that aren't like big, big designer brands, yeah. like affordable. There's a Zara. Is Guess expensive? I think it probably is quite expensive. Mm. I don't know. There's probably some brands, but I haven't seen really many. Yeah, there isn't much. Not any that I would be able to afford. We're going to pop into the Apple shop yeah, for no Puma, apparent though. reason. Oh, there's a Puma. Nice. Get a quick snack from a bread tour. Four dollars thirty for a cheese and ham croissant and a donut. That's Which, probably. Yeah, how much is that? Two pound fifty. Two pound eighty, I reckon. Oh, I can check. Yeah. Got internet. Two pound sixty nine. Two pound sixty nine. Wow, it's not that bad actually. No, not at all. Uh, we're gonna go grab some dinner now. At some Wagyu burger place which Kerry found which is meant to be quite cheap for what it is so we got it's going to be about like a tenner for a burger or a toastie or something yeah so, and it's Wagyu yeah. so we got about a 15 minute walk across back to the other side where we were just before but it's over in the big city bit in the business retail bit so see you there we run into a bit of a problem the place I found, like the Wagyu burgers, is now shut. I think because of Covid. And then Ollie found somewhere, and that place is also shut. So we're just trying to find the cheapest place in this mall. We have got loads of food. Trying to find something, something cheap that Ollie will eat as well. Bit of a nightmare. We've ended up in the Grill Knife. Um, it's like semi fast food. We've got two chicken breasts, no drinks, for $25.80, which is like 16 quid, which isn't awful, but it's not quite as cheap as we were hoping. Yeah, it's like £8 each. I suppose that's all right. Um, yeah, we didn't get drinks, but you get two sides with your meal. I think that is quite cheap for where we are. We're in like the really, really posh, expensive bit of Singapore. Yeah, we're near that. It's like um, the Manhattan of New York kind of vibe. <laughs> it is. Yeah, sure. So I got um, chicken breast, truffle, pasta, and cheese, and then just cream spinach. I don't know what sauce I got, I can't remember. Uh, mushroom, I think. And Ollie got the same, but an egg and peppercorn sauce, which he's about to scrape off because he doesn't like it. Thought it would come on the side. Probably come with chips as well. Yeah, there was the option to add chips, and he thought that meant add two yeah, portions of on chips. The menu, you showed it with chips, and said you get two sides. So I thought, can't break chips. And two and sides. Two sides. <laughs> yeah, no, even though chips was an option. So I, can't, I knew <laughs> it was going to come like this. That was more than enough food. We both can not finish it. Forty rate out of ten. Six. Yeah, I'd say so. Thomas is pretty hungry. <laughs> so after that dinner, we went to the um, Marina Bay Sands fountain show, but our footage turned out really, really bad. So I'm not gonna include any of it, but if you just go on YouTube and search for it, you'll find it. It's free to go to and it was quite good. So recommend doing that. We also did Gardens by the Bay the day after which is free to walk around the area, but you have to pay for each activity you do. So you can always just go there for free as well. 
So the total cost for everything you saw in that video, which was, well, we didn't show you the accommodation because it was shit, but the accommodation, all of the food we got, the activities we did, most of which were free, and the transport was 73 pounds for two of us. So 37 quid each for 24 hours in Singapore. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.